YouTube land, it is Ascendra here to do another awesome fun junkie spot review. Joining me today on the review is going to be the 43 centimeter Gabrielle girl, courtesy of Dolly's. So a couple of measurements for you to start you off before we actually look and do some reviewing. Her height, she is 43.5 centimeters. Her head circumference is at an 18.5. The neck is a 6.5. Her shoulders at are 7.5 centimeters. Um, her chest is going to be an 18.7. Her waist is a 13.5. We've got hips at 19. The legs are 22 centimeters. And then her foot length is going to be at 5 centimeters. I'm going to go ahead and I'll post her measurements in the description box below where the comment section is if you're curious about more and since she is in our MSD range she will be using MSD sized wigs so you can look for seven eight wigs for her your eye size is going to be a 12 to 14 millimeter eye and as another cool added note you can actually also request hybrid bodies so if you're liking a head or if you want to go ahead and do a boy body or vice versa or what you're looking at you can go ahead and send a message to Emory of the Junkie Spot and he can go ahead and talk to you more about that. Now when you buy the Gabrielle she does come with the large bust which she has currently equipped on her but you can actually also request for the smaller bust which is over there. When we start the review, we'll go ahead and take a look at both so you can see kind of the differences between the two. But, other than that, let's go ahead and get started and take a look at this awesome girl. Starting off with our head, let's go ahead and take a look back here. She has magnets inside of her head, so when you open up the head cap, you see the two magnets here. And then you have your matching parts here. And your S-hook is right here as well. Right back here you'll see these are where her eye sockets are. It has like a little dip in a dish so whatever eyes you put in there are going to be sitting in that dish. As you can see you have your string and it does have the cross system here for when you take out your S-hook. It'll face the other way and then the head will come off. So as far as the mobility and range goes for the head, it's really nice. She can look up like this. She can look down to this extent right here. She can turn side to side. She can even do side to side this way as well. So just to take a look at her profile, this is her little profile, this is her side profile, so you can see she's got a cute little nose. So moving down now to our shoulders and where our torso joints begin. Her arms and her range of motion for arms is really nice as well. She can hold them out. She does have her socket and her ball joint right here that gives her a really good range of motion and everything moves really nice and smoothly. The th one thing I really do like about the Doll Leaves girls is that they are very delicate and like very petite looking. They have really nice shapely arms. Their arms are like, as you can see right here, they have like a really nice shape to them here. Even up here up on her upper arm as well. So, I mean, it does really give the appearance of that of a, of a girl. So, I mean, it's, it's really pretty. And I'll go ahead and I'll show you the arms compared to the boys because they are they are different. So, I mean this looks like a a woman or I guess you could say a girl's arm so they're really pretty and well crafted. Elbows that you have here are that nice looking peanut joint here that has the outer part right here that gives the effect of like an elbow and there you can see more of that peanut piece. So moving down to her hands she does have a actual like ball joint down here that gives her a really nice range of motion um, for her wrist movements as well. Dainty girl hands. So our girl here she has a three part torso that means she has three parts right here that make up her torso and right up here this is her bust part and it does have the ability to move. She can move it forward to here and she can move it back. She also can move it side to side as well, which is another really cool thing. And as you see down here, this bottom torso part also moves as well. And so this can move back here and this part. Like I mentioned earlier, there's two busts that you can get for this girl. This is the larger bust. We do also have here a smaller bust. So there is, you can actually tell obviously one is bigger than the other, but you can request the smaller bust if you'd prefer that um, to the larger bust. 
So here's another side view of the two busts together. The larger one here on my right and the smaller one here on my left. Another really, really nice thing about our girl that we have here today is that she is double jointed. She's double jointed in her arms as well as her legs down here. So that means that she can do a bunch of other different cool poses and her elbows and her knees can lock nicely for you. And it's just really cool because double jointed bodies are just really, really fun to have if you're looking for something that can do different poses and whatnot. So moving down to our thighs, she does have these sockets right here for her thighs down here. It does also have the swiveling thigh joint right here as well so it can move as you can see right here. It can move side to side here with just this one piece right here. And then coming down to her knees. She is double jointed so she does have the capability to do things like kneeling and whatnot. And it does have that signature peanut look to it. So if you look at the back of her knees, that's what they look like. You can see where the elastic is inside. When she's standing and everything is completely straight, you can actually see that with this extra piece that is here, it kind of gives the, you know, look that she has like kneecaps here, which is really, really nice. And just the overall shape of her leg, I mean, they do give her curves to her legs, which are really, really nice. And I thought it was a really nice touch that they did for the girl body. Moving down to her feet and her ankles, she has another ball joint, actual ball here, that will give her a good range of motion for her ankles and for her feet to move. So she can move her foot to a upward position. She can move it down as well. And then just a closer look of her feet. She does have very pretty, delicate, nice, lovely girl feet. So, as a fun little extra thing that I thought I would do, since I do also have an MSD doll leaves boy here as well, I thought I'd go ahead and show you kind of some of the differences between the girl and the boy body as far as like sculpting with the arms and legs and whatnot. Um, hands is, are one of the big things that I, that I really liked that they do. Um, this is the boy hand, so it is actually bigger than the girl's hand here. So, as you can see, you got smaller fingers and the wrist down here is also a little bit more petite as well as you can see there's also like a definite shape to it as well when you look at the girl and the boy arms together this like I said and I mentioned earlier is more slender and feminine looking and this one is a little bit stockier more like a boy's arm so I thought that was really really nice that you know they they have the detailing for that between the two bodies here looking at the legs you can see also that there is a difference in the shaping for the boy's leg compared to the girl's leg as well like I mentioned before you know you have nice girly looking slender legs for the girls and you got the stockier leg for the boy here also our kneecaps are a bit different for our boy and our girl here. The girl is a little bit smaller and daintier versus our boy that's a little bit bigger right here. And then if you look at our feet, this one right here is our boy foot and this one right here is our girl foot. And you can see that even they they have different like shaped feet as well. Girls is of course smaller and the boys is slightly bigger and I think that they did a really good job with both bodies here. And I just really like the overall look of the girl bodies. I mean they really do look like that of a girl and they have everything really nice and slender looking and it's very very beautifully sculpted. And that about covers it for my review for today. As always please feel free to check out the Gabrielle doll that is available on the Junkie Spot along with a bunch of other really cool doll related things. You can check them out at www.junkiespot.com. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys have a super fantastic day. Bye! So as added bonus, I thought I would go ahead and entice you further by showing you the awesome, cool doll leaves pillow that is with the doll here. It is a beautiful shade of blue, and um, just thought I would go ahead and show it to you all. Along with the little card, um, 
which is really, really pretty as well. So this is your little um, identification card, and it has, uh, you know, the certificate number, the model, and it also has our stamped date here as well. So I thought this is really cool, and this is all kind of just other stuff that you have with the doll here. And, yes, she is comfy in this pillow. Comfy pillow, comfy.